objective is to identify a small number of exceptional talented scientists working at an international competitive level and to support these rising stars at a formative stage of their careers. Well, our research is mainly focused on cancer stem cells using liver and esophageal cancers model system. So in the future, maybe we can develop better drugs uh, in combination with current traditional therapy uh, for the betterment of clinical patients. So specifically, I was, um, I'm working on the so-called transport properties of those atomic gases at extremely low temperature. Uh, we have uh, been the first to demonstrate that uh, in such a quantum gas, uh, the transport has to occur at the slowest rate uh, for a specific uh, transport property called spin diffusion. My main research is in influenza epidemiology, which means I study how influenza viruses spread in the population, how they infect people, and what happens once people get infected. And I will use this year to um, uh, really uh, go into my study in the um, aging research, specifically looking into uh, chromatin remodeling, then damage repair and aging, and I try to develop some strategies to um, uh, combat the uh, uh, aging-related uh, diseases. For example, the uh, Hudson Jeff or Progeria syndrome which is uh, the most severe early onset uh, premature aging in, in children. Patients with breast cancer, a lot of them have estrogen receptor positivity, in which case they, they can be treated with tamoxifen, which is revolutionized management of patients. Tamoxifen is cheap, but about half of these patients who which initially respond to tamoxifen eventually become resistant. So the idea is to predict what patients would eventually become resistant so that we can treat them with another drug in advance before they develop their recurrence. Yes, actually my research focuses on novel microbe discovery and microbial genomics. So basically we collected clinical samples from patients as well as animal samples. We have discovered a total of more than 100 microorganisms including viruses, fungi and bacteria in the last 15 years and it is very important for both Hong Kong and the world. I would like uh, to thank, first of all, the Croucher Foundation for its continuous recognition of excellence in science, in technology, and in medicine. I think we are in the right time now uh, to do this type of research because uh, all the experimental techniques are advancing fairly fast um, uh, around the world and in any major university there have been these research programs going on. Very honored to be selected as one of the recipients. Um, so with funding of five million for five years, I hope to maybe conduct some you know, bolder or more risky research you know, so that uh, still in liver cancer stem cells uh, with animal models and clinical patient samples. Very grateful for, to the Croucher Foundation for giving me this award and giving me this opportunity to spend more time uh, towards this research. The funding can be used for alleviating my administrative duties as well as my teaching duties so that I can spend more time on research for one year. With this uh, opportunities, we will be able to um, develop uh, some new methods and uh, also develop some strategies uh, uh, to uh, um, contribute to the understanding of the disease and also the um, um, potential therapies uh, for the future. Great honour to receive Croucher funding and the funding will allow me to spend more time on research and particularly to do research on how well influenza vaccines have been working in Hong Kong in the last few years. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I am grateful to the Grau Croucher Foundation, to its founder and to its dedicated people who have made it a cornerstone in the promising future of science, technology and medicine in Hong Kong.